Hi, my name is Scotty. Please enjoy yourselves, or Gr Gliscor, or whatever you want to call me, but I am the guy who plays Battlesport doubles regularly uh, from now on. And with this team that I am really fond of, it is a Rain Trick Room Hybrid. And yeah, this is the first session I'm going to have with this team. I hope you'll enjoy what you're trying to see here. Unfortunately, we are going to start from 1500. I was laddering up to 1750 or something along the lines of that. Um, but unfortunately, that was on my other car on the other DS that is in my cartridge. We can't. That is my capture card thing. So yeah, so we'll have to start from 1500 again with this team. And yeah. Let's see once we find a battle. And we find a battle. Koshi. His name is Koshi. Oh my god, I can read it. Uh, oh, and she, she has that Valor team. Which I should be able to beat with my Discharge. Tapu Koko, right? Discharge Tapu Koko should forego all of these threats right here. And basically Tapu Koko wins me this game. So we're gonna lead Tapu Koko with, I think, Hydreigon. So that's Marowak in the back. And then, yeah, Marowak is really important, even though he has got Red Rain. I really want to beat the, what's it called, the Cartana with it and such. No, actually, I wanna lead Tap, Coco, and Caliper with Hydreigon and Marowak in the back. So this is the way we go. This is the way we go about this, and yeah. Yeah, this is how we rock this world, man. <laughs> yeah, basically, this is it. Let's see how we go. I'm kind of expecting a Pikachu lead just because I have the top Coco. And what else am I expecting though? A Pelipper I might expect. A Waylord Waylord is like the, the Pokemon to this which this team has to face, you know. With you know what I mean. You know what I mean, right? Because I don't. Uh, haven't talked about haven't talked English in like um, while wow, in a minute, man. It's so difficult to get back in the morning, really, but whatever. Tapu Koko Pelipper lead versus his or her Pikachu and Pelipper. Okay. So, immediately going to Dazzling Gleam as well as which. Or who do I think he's going to fake out? Is it the Tap Tapu Koko or the Pelipper? Either way, I think I'm going to Dazzling Gleam and try to set up a Tailwind in our favor. Yep, Tailwind in our favor. I think he will actually... Oh, he doesn't even fake out anything. anything. But instead, goes for probably Volt Tackle or something. Thunder into Pelipper, I'm assuming. But thankfully we do have that focus set to take this hit. Let's see if we can pull off the... Oh, but we get paralyzed! And he uses Hydro Pump against the Top Coco. Okay, dude, I think this game for Top Coco. Now it's all all on this Top Pelipper to pull off the Tailwind. Yes. And... I think I will send in Hydreigon. <clears throat> Hydreigon will dog pulse the Pelipper slot to prevent a trick, uh, to prevent a Tailwind from him going up, and then I will switch in my Marowak to prevent a another Thunder from that Pikachu. Pikachu. Let's see how how well this turn turns out. I'm psyched though. If Pelipper wasn't paralyzed, I, I, even though I think I would sw still switch Pelipper out simply because of the fact that he could have faint on his Pikachu. And Marowak would be the perfect switch for that faint. 
and also for that bundle, but he doesn't. He just here goes for... I'm assuming what is it, Thunder, right? Yep, Thunder, but my Lightning Rod from Marowak takes the attack. Let's see, is my Marowak fast enough to outspeed that Pikachu though? <laughs> Mimikyu comes in, but... Mm, I don't know about Mimikyu though. Let's see, how fast is my... Is my Marowak? 67, that's 125, that's not fast enough for the Mimikyu. So what I'm going to do is protect the Hydreigon and simply Bonerang, or should I? Yeah, Bonerang the Mimikyu. Because I'm predicting a player off onto Hydreigon, right? Because Hydreigon is a threat to probably his Waylord which he's got in the back. Hidden power coming out from that Oh, and I am faster than this Mimikyu. Or he went for, for Trick Road, that could also be it. Yes, he went for Trick Road. So he probably got Arachnid in the back. In which case, I w definitely want to switch out my High Dragon, sacrifice that Pelipper though. And go for a shot uh, and st stall out my last turn of Tailwind, I think. I think I want to stall out the last turn of Tailwind. So that my Marowak will be faster than anything in the next turn. Because I don't think Min Speed Mimikyu. Yeah, Min Speed Mim Mimikyu has like what? Let me think about it. 90 something speed or so. Here comes the player up into Pelipper. Okay. Let's see what Pikachu is going to do. Hit him power. Presumably ice. But we don't know. And this this is the turn where we need to pick up two KOs, or else he can just say it, send in his Arachnid and Wreck Havoc. Now who do I target with my well you see? The protect on Hydragon is pretty obvious, you know. And the protect on Mimikyu is also pretty obvious. Because he does need it to take out my You know what I'm protecting my Hydragon. No, I'm actually not protecting the Hydragon. I'm going straight up for the attack onto Pikachu. And, no, actually, I don't know, I don't know, this is such a difficult turn, man. or at least I think it's difficult. Do I go for the double attack, though? Yeah, I think I go for the double attack. Okay, so this turned out pretty well, I think. This turn, at least. Hidden power into Marowak for some reason and not into Hydreigon. Let's see if Arachnid is the last Pokemon. The rain stop, which is really great. Electricity, it doesn't really matter. And Arachnid is in fact the last Pokemon. Now because there are two more turns of Trick Room where I left, I'm just going to double protect right here and double attack in the next turn. Because I do think Marowak is faster than his Arachnid, assuming it is min speed, because my Marowak is not at min speed. It has some uh, it I think it has 12 speed EVs and maximum speed speed IVs. So I should be fine, you know. Protecting another protect, and the liquidation is coming up. Okay, so this is the turn where we hit Black Hole Eclipse as well as Shadow Bone. I could go for it and try going for 
the double protect, but I don't think that is the play to make. It would be safer to just Black Hole Eclipse and Shadow Ball. Let's see how much this Black Hole Eclipse does. And then we need to gauge damage. Look how much a normal Black Hole, uh, normal Dark Pulse would do. How is this battle so intense, man? I'm feeling it in my heart, man. <laughs> Let's see. Ooh, do I need to go for it? Do I need to go for the Dark Draco Meteor now? I don't, I, I don't know. I actually don't know whether that your Dark Force is going to KO it because it's just 80 per base power, you know. I think I will have to go for pray that the Draco hits. Oh, and he forfeits. Thankfully, thankfully he forfeits. I mean, we did not have to rely on the Draco Meteor. Draco Meteor. Real nice. See you all in the next battle. And we're facing Leon from Italy with 1520. Or Leon. I don't know. He has a Mega Venusaur team. Really nice. With Hitmon Top, Egg Slash, Suicune, Tempo Coco, and Heatran. So I think we're definitely gonna need Pelipper in this game. Pelipper is going to be the, the Pokemon to that makes a difference in this game. Let's see, what attacks do I have? I don't have, have Scald or Brian? I have Scald, good. Let's see. How do I wanna start this off with? I think I wanna go Gothitelle and Tapu Coco with Mohawile. And Pelipper? Question mark. Do I want to bring Grig Gr Pelipper or Marowak? No, I think I want to bring Pelipper though. Yeah, the, the only reason I want to bring Tapu Koko is because of his Suicune and also his Mahitman top. Let's see. Are those the four Pokemon I want to bring to this game? That would me leave me a little. Egg slash weak, but I don't think he will bring egg slash just because I have Marowak, I have Dragon, and I have potential Sucker Punch on my mobile, which all threaten him egg slash heavily. Yeah, so yeah, you know what? We're going to go with these four. Let's see. I kind of am expecting a Hitmon top lead, that's why I let two Pokemon that can deal with Hitmon top really well. But I also don't know what I should expect, honestly. Like, he has a very well built team. Very well built, very, very well built team. Yeah, that's, that's something I expected. He's a, a Hitmon top. He could easily just set up a substitute right here. Which I, I probably, I think he will actually set up the substitute right here. And I will actually go for the Sashok onto Hitman top and try to. Should I protect my Tapu Koko? This is the question. Is he going to Shadow Ball with Gothic Hildo? No, you know what? I will Dazzle and Gleam. For, no, Volt Switch into that Egg Slash first. Uh, even though I'm kind of expecting a Fake Out into my Tapu Koko, I just want to do it just in case he does not, you know, he doesn't Fake Out. And he does in fact Fake Out the Tapu Koko. Unfortunate for us, but whatever. And our Gothel is actually faster than his Egg Slash, which means his Egg Slash is in fact min speed. A check button hate on top, real nice. Is he going to switch in his Buenos or yes he is? And his, his egg slash is going to set up the substitute. <laughs> now expecting a King's Shield from that egg slash, I'm going to set up the trick room. 
Or no, actually I'm not going to set up the trick room because I know that the SDS Aegis Lash is the slowest thing on this field. So I'm just going to double target the Venusaur with the Volt Switch as well as a Psyshot. And then I'm going to switch in my Mawile, which is pretty safe from all of the attacks from the Venusaur. And I'm, as I said, I'm expecting the Zeke Slash to protect or King's Shield, respectively. So yeah. Yep, there is the King's Shield. Let's see. And I do value every bit of damage that I can, can get under the Venusaur. Though. And send in that mobile, probably a sludge bomb coming my way. Not much I can do about it though. Uh, well, I can switch in the steel type, you know. Let's see, or did he go for the... No, he went for a sludge bomb into my mobile, excellent. Now I think he will protect his Venusaur, right? Or is he gonna... Nah, you know what? I'm side-shocking the Venusaur again. Or do I even need to side-shock it? No, I don't. Now he's, he's going to protect his Venusaur, so I'm going to protect my Gothitelle. Or actually, I have a better idea. I'm going to tickle the egg slash as well as sucker punch it. Yep. <clears throat> because I do think his egg slash is going to attack, then Venusaur is going to protect just because I can easily take out that Venusaur with another Sasha. And he can't really prevent it, you know. And also, I've got a Pelipper in the back which can easily deal with Venusaur because it's A faster and B hits it super effectively with a Hurricane. <clears throat> The Sucker Punch is coming. The, uh, the Substitute fades and the Tickle is in incoming. But e even though he's going to for go for his Shadow Ball, I decided or Ghost DMZ. I, I decided to do that because I was convinced. I, I wanted I want this. What's it called? Shadow uh, Sucker Punch to take him out the next turn, you know. And uh, maybe in hindsight I should have protected the Gothitelle, but whatever. Let's see if this is physical or special. Got, got a slash. Oh, it's special, whatever. But this allow what this allows me to do though is bring in my Pelipper and basically set up the Tailwind for free, almost, I'd say. Because he's, he's most certainly going to switch out that Venusaur, right? Or or actually, yeah, because he needs it to beat the... The... what's it called? The Tapu Koko, right? So what I'm going to do is set up a Tailwind. As well as Sucker Punch the Egg Slash again. Now that he is at minus one spe uh, defense, this Sucker Punch is surely going to knock it out. And I mean, even though if he's going to, into... Stuns, even if he stuns dancing, even after that, he should be a knockout. And his hand is not going to protect the Venusaur, interestingly. I think this may actually be the moment where we kind of choke the game, I guess. No, I mean, we're not, because now we can just easily Iron Head the Venusaur and as well as Gold the Egg Slash, right? And Iron Head should take out the Venusaur. I, I think it would at least. And this Gold should take out the Sub from Egg Slash. Maybe in hindsight I should have done it the other way around, but whatever. Yeah, I should have done it the other way around now that I think about it. I should have hurricane the Venusaur and scalded and sucker punched 
the egg slash. Okay, so Suicune is the last Pokemon, which is real nice because my type, type this means my type of Poco is pretty safe of uh, to win this game after I am. Um, Or I think at least it's pretty safe to say that my Tapu Koko wins this game later on in the late game. Now what I'm not allowed to do is him letting us set up a Tailwind, but how do I prevent that though? Because Hurricane in player off is probably not gonna take out that Suicune, you know? Or because Hurricane is probably going to put it in Citrus Berry range and then... Or actually, now that I think about it... No, the player is probably going to do around 50%. And I really wanna... Damage this Egg Slash a little. Or at least break his substitute so that my... Tapu Koko can come in right now, uh, next turn. Let's see, play rough the Suicune and Scald the Egg Slash. Yeah, it's gonna do around 50% and activate its berry. Please don't be a super berry. And it is a super berry, so we basically did no damage, and he's going to set up the tailwind on his own. Of his own. Maybe I sh in hindsight I should have hurricaned and played off the Tessicon. Yeah, I didn't anticipate the this is a game we're going to lose. Or are we? This is the last turn of tailwind that I've got. He's sure. I mean, he surely is going to protect his egg slash or set up a substitute, right? But can I prevent that? No, not really. So I'm just going to scald the egg slash as well as play off the Suicune again, one more time. I should. Mm, I should preserve the Pelipper though because it is the Pokemon beating the way beat the. The what's it called? The Venusaur, right? But I can't let him set up a substitute again with this Aegislash. That's absolutely horrendous if that happens. And Scald is coming out into mobile. And mobile does not take it though. Let's see, this is the second turn of Tailwind from him. His Aegislash, well, uh, and the last turn of Tailwind, right? F, Rain, right? So, what I'm going to do is double protect right here <clears throat> so that the Scald won't knock out my Tapu Coco. And try to. or. no, actually. If this Aegislash is min speed, he should not be able to outspeed my Pelipper, which means I can just set up a Tailwind and protect my Tapu Koko, right? Yeah, that, that that's what it means, right? Let's see. Do I protect my Tapu Koko right here? Predicting a Scald onto it, and the Shadow Ball onto Pelipper. Yes, I think that's the play that I need to make. And it goes for Ice Beam onto Pelipper, nice play. Man, in hindsight, maybe I should have done some, th some things different, differently. Because now I cannot beat the Venusaur anymore, or I think at least. The only thing getting me to win is a disconnection from his part. And it doesn't look like it. Discharging right here. 
best play that I got. Yeah, that was my mistake. I think it was letting my Gothic Tell die was a mistake. I should have protected it. When I had the chance to, you know. Where he went for this Ghost Z move. But alas, I decided not to. And wow, now in hindsight, Tapu Koko probably could have taken a Scald in Benin Rain. Is he a faint though? I don't know. I don't care, I'm just going to protect, even though there is no chance I can win that right now. I don't know why I'm doing this, but yeah. Especially with the burn right now, I can't I can't see myself winning this game anymore. Because, yeah. I'm, The burn was an nail in the coffin, I think. Well, this was unfortunate, most most certainly. I almost got 4 out. Huh. Yeah, see you well next battle. And we face someone from Japan with the rating of 1571. And he has a, oh, I know what, he, what his team is going to do, he's going to, I know exactly what his team is going to do with this uh, Milotic and Standler. His Standler's choice card for skill swap, skill swapping um, intimidate onto the opponent to get his uh, Milotic a plus one speed boost with his Adrenaline or and plus two a special attack with competitive thing. Yeah, but I think I will actually bring in these four, this trick room mode that I got going on. Um, yeah, there is not much else to say about this, except that it's really good. Tapu Koko got the as a lead, wall switching out into something, into either Marowak or Mobile, depending on what he's got in, a, what he's got in front. Probably Mobile to get that Intimidate off onto other Pokemon. Yeah, and then basically go from there. Let's see how this battle turns out. Am I expecting a rain lead? No, I'm not. But at the same time, it could really, it could work out really well against against me, like this rain lead that he's got, and potentially got going on. Let's see. What? If he leads Ludicolo and Pelipper, I'm just going to discharge turn 1 and protect my Gothic Hill. And he does Ludicolo and Pelipper lead, lead off with Ludicolo and Pelipper. Uh, against, my, against my expectations, I guess. Hmm. Surely he's going to put, to take out the Tapu Koko or, or is he going to water seam with my Tapu Koko, right? Well, in any case, I'm just going to discharge and protect the God. No. no, this is not the right call, call actually. Wall switch into the Ludicolo 
and try and set up trick room that is the crow to make. Use his fake guard into Tapu Koko and use his hurricane into Gothitelle and Mizuno. Yes. But the trick room does go off though. I don't know why he what didn't. Oh, probably because he has Brine instead of a Scalder Hydro Pump. Anyway, it's gonna discharge right here with my Tapu Koko and Protect, or actually going to Psy Shock the Ludicolo as well. I'm kind of hesitant to uh, hesitating with this Ludicolo just because. Or not hesitating, but I'm not hesitating at all. What, what am I saying? I can't even English, what is this? I'm actually really straightforward with this Ludicolo, I want to get it out of the way as, far, as soon as possible. And yeah, this Pelipper, he could have White Guard, but I don't think he would have it. Would have it, yeah. Let's see, what is what is he thinking about so long? Not even I take my turns this long. Pelipper does protect, nice. Well, in any case, I should have uh, maybe used Volt Fish, but whatever, whatever. And that's not enough to proc my battery, unfortunately. And he uses Gold onto Tapu Koko, and that's enough. Okay. I think this is the place where we send in my mobile. And just Iron Head the... Iron Head the... what's it called? Pelipper. Yeah, hoping for a flinch. And we Psy Shock the Ludicolo. I'm, I'm not play roughing the Pelipper because I do think he has got the Focus Sash, which I, I obviously don't know, but I'm assuming he has it because it's pretty a pretty popular item on Pelipper. And he uses Brine onto Gothel, I'm assuming, yes. And he takes it out, unfortunately. Yeah, I should have Volt Switched with my Tapu Koko, but. Because now he can switch out his Pelipper, right? And basically go from there uh, and basically, well, what's, what I want to say is switch it out and and have things go his way, I guess. Let's see, what, what has he got in your bag? Well, anyways, I'm going to play rough the Milotic. Now, seeing how Brian is the only water type attack from Pelipper, I'm actually going to double target the Milotic right here. I should have preserved my Tapu Koko a little better. Now that I think about it. Yeah, we're going to lose this one as well, aren't we? Yes, Melodic is going to protect. Well, I'm playing so poorly right now, so poorly. At least I knew I'd survive this.
Let's see, Love Sermon of Trick Room. What am I doing? How am I going to turn this battle back? In my favor. Yeah, I think I will have to double target that Milotic. As he withdraws it, let's see what it sends in. That is Tapu Lele, so... Wow, I think this is the only move he could have made to lose the game. If I'm not mistaken. Or actually, no, it's actually not the last and the only move he could have done to lose this game. Now, because had he not protected his Pelipper, I would have taken picked up two KOs, you know. I really hope it his gold does not burn my his gold doesn't burn my my, my mobile. And my sucker punch will take out the pelipper. This is all I'm hoping for. Let's see. Yeah, yeah, let's see. Are protected? Well, while using Sucker Punch, not taking out the Pelipper. Re this is huge, man. Huge. And this Gold is not doing anything, and it is not burning me. Nice. And I think this is the play where play rough the Malari. Oh man. This Sucker Punch should definitely have taken out the Pelipper. And we shut up all the developer Pelipper. Particularly a Tailwind of some, of some sorts, I don't know. Yes, the Pelipper goes for Tailwind. Melodic leaves his gold onto my web, yes. Unfortunate, but true. And the Scald is doing just just about 50, 50 HP, so which means this is more than a 3 hit KO, or less than a 3 hit KO. Just barely under a 3 hit KO, you know? This is absolute murderous. Let's see how much this Scald does. 57, and he burns me. Okay, this is just stupid. Why did he have to burn me? You know what, I'll see you in the next battle. And we face Frederick from Italy, Sicily. He has an interesting team of Garchomp, Salamence, Cresselia, Tepecoco, Ferrothorn, as well as Charizard. I think I want to lead Tapu Koko, Gokutel, bring Mawal in the back as well as Marowak. <laughs> as stupid as it sounds, this is probably the safest thing I can bring. Oh well, because Mawal handles Cresselia, Tapu Koko, and the both of the dragons. Marowak handles Tapu Koko, Cresselia, Charizard, as well as Ferrothorn, you know. And Tapu Koko is just here to basically handle those dragons as well as Charizard. I guess. Do I need Pelipper though? No, I don't need Pelipper. Because I no, I don't need Pelipper and don't I don't don't and I don't need Hydragon. Hmm. Yeah, let's lock these in. 
Same for as last battle. But yeah, let's see how, how we fare this time. I think... Now what am I expecting as a lead? Or actually, who, am I, who is this Mega? Is it Salamence or Charizard that is bringing to this team game? And I think it will be... Salamence? Salamence is actually better, I think, than Charizard. And and he is also going to bring his Ferrothorn, Ferrothorn for sure. But he leads Garchomp Tapu Koko, okay. As I'm think I'm thinking about just double protecting first turn. Yeah, I'm definitely double protecting first turn. Or am I? Yes, no, I'm protecting the Tapu Koko and setting up a trick room. Or is this the play? No. What is the play? I think it's to Dazzling Gleam and Trick Room. No, Protect, yeah. Got the Taunt. Because there could be a Taunt coming out, there could be a Tectonic Rage coming out. There could... a lot of things could be coming out, you know. And we Speed Tie apparently, this Tapu Koko and mine. Ooh, this looks like an assault by stick or jump though. I see poison traps. And I will definitely bring in my mobile. Lower that guard jumps attack stat. Yep. And just basically protect right here and set up the trick room. Yeah, next turn I can easily side shock the top of Coco and player off the guard shop to pick up a double knockout. The, or at least the knockout on the guard shop since it is. Or it seems to be. Um, what's it called? What's it called? What is it called? I can't remember. Assault vested. Yep. And can't protect, therefore. And my man's is taking his time. What's the, what's the names again? Fed Federic. Federic is taking his time. Mobile protecting. Top Croc was still discharging. Doing huge damage to that goth at all, and he's going. Oh no! <sighs> he's going to flinch. He's going to flinch, right? How did I know, man? How did I know? You know what? I can't let this happen again. So I'm gonna switch in my Marowak. And try to trick room again. Yeah, that's basically it. Now I could try and sucker punch the guard jump, but I don't think that will solve the problem. Also, I would be vulnerable to this discharge from that Tapu Koko. Thankfully, I do have that super berry though. I swear, man, if I get para if I get flinched one more time. If I couldn't have got the time, avoid it. Oh, thankfully, sets up the trick room. Nice. Or she, actually. Sorry. I was assuming her gender. And Sasha can do Tapu Koko. Yeah, Sasha should take out the Tapu Koko and. Well. Shadowbone should take out the guard show, if I think about it. Yes. 
Cross is averted somehow. Some or at least to some degree at least, you know. Let's see if he has has he's almost got to have Burthorn in the back, right? Or he has Charizard and who else in the back? Ferrothorn, yes I did know. I, I knew he had Ferrothorn in the back. Now what I'm going to do here is protect the Mar Marowak and tickle the Ferrothorn. Because his Ferrothorn could might as well have knock off, you know? He could have knock off. He could be choice bandit knock off, you know. You never know. <laughs> so I'm going to tickle it. If his if his knockoff takes out my Goth Tell, I know it is Bandit, so I can send in Mobile and basically double target his Charizard, you know. Let's see. And also kind of expecting his Charizard to protect because why wouldn't he? You know, it is his Or he he actually attacks okay, or he should be attacking, considering he mega evolved his Charizard. Drought coming out. Marowak protecting his Ferrothorn is not protected. And he uses Leech Seed onto Marowak though. Tickle. Okay, so it, it is a tri probably traditional Ferrothorn. Oh, he double targeted my Marowak, which is really nice. Boy, well, which means I can now double target the Charizard with a Tickle and a Shadow Bone, and that should be game for Charizard. Probably protects. Charizard probably protects as well, or not. Okay, I don't see myself losing this game anymore. So, GG to Federic. And I think we've got time for one more game. Or actually, I, I want to go for the overkill. Flare Blitz and a minus two defense. <laughs> yeah, let's see. Well, in hindsight, I should have re reversed Trick Room, but you know, I don't see myself losing this game anymore. Also, the tickle animation is just hilarious. It's just so you know. Flirtless. I wonder how many far from this could carry. <laughs> Granted, I'm not max max attack, but pretty close to max attack. So, GG, Frederick. Let's see you in the next game. And we face a Japanese guy with a rating of 1538. We who has another rain team. I guess uh, I'm rather running rain myself and kind of um kind of um what's it called? Kind of not helping the cause of reducing the amount of rain teams on the ladder. <laughs> but uh, whatever. You know, um at least I'm not running a full or uh, full-on rain team. I'm just having a Pelipper on the team. <laughs> uh, for for some reason I have Pelipper on the team because my Th Tapu Koko doesn't even have Thunder, I don't have any Swift Zoomers. I guess... Oh, okay, I don't know why I have, I have Pelipper anymore, because I built this team so many months ago. I don't remember anymore. Anyways, I think Mobile and Marowak are going to sweep this guy if, it, if they are brought in, in the back and in Trick Room. Now what I need to be wary of is this What's it called? Um, this Lucario because he, he could 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 as well be choice card final gambit with max HP. Although that shouldn't take out my. Got to tell any other attack should take out my. Got to tell at this point. At that point. Let's see what he goes for. What he is leading with. 
Also that um, Breloom could pose a threat, but thankfully I do have Tap Coco with that electric terrain. Yeah, and he leads rain. Okay, so what am I going to do? I think I will actually double protect right here. Or no, I will protect and discharge. I think that's the clever play. As he disconnects somehow. Well, thankfully he disconnected and not me though. See you all in the next battle, in the last battle that is. And already from Poland we face Mike. I've never battled a Polish guy before. And I think this is some shenanigans man. I think he will need to make a Kangaskhan and Eevee. Or he, or, or he could also have that super solar flare, solar power, duo, damn. Okay, this is really tricky to beat. Got the tail and tap Coco, let's go, Marowak, and Mobile in the back. Or, uh, yeah. Or do I want a Marowak even in the back? Yeah, or Hydreigon even. Because Hydreigon does have the C move. But I don't think that'll help me much. Yeah, I think these four are the, are the way to go in this game. I could have brought Pelipper to, to mitigate the sun threat, but I think sun is actually going to help me in this game because I've, I've got that Marowak with Flare Blitz. And he isn't even guaranteed to bring so, um, his Ninetales. Go for Tell Tapu Koko, let's go men or people in black. Eevee and Kangaskhan, yes, as predicted. Now the question is, am I going to set up the trick room right here? I think and I think the answer is yes. Set up the trick room, send in Marowak. No, actually, I will send in more while. Yes, Mobile is actually better because it isn't. It's, it is a counter to Kangaskhan because of the Intimidate. It intimidates Eevee and it isn't susceptible to fake uh, to Sucker Punch from Kangaskhan in the next turn, which he most likely um, packs. You know, considering, yeah. Or is this even a? Well, I probably have to cut this one out, so see you all after the animation. So yeah, as I said, something along the lines of Marowak wasn't as good as mobile, I don't remember. Like, damn, a minute is just too long for my attention span. Anyway, but now I can just easily tickle the Eevee, as well as Mega Evolve and Iron Head the Eevee, which should take it out, you know? Because, I mean, it is an EV. Even though it's a, he's, he's a momentarily at plus 2 defense, he will be at plus 1, and I mean, it is an EV, you know. EV is not, not exactly the bulkiest Pokemon, even at plus 1 defense. Iron Head coming in. And it just barely takes the hit. Barely. Incredible. Oh, incredible. But what's the positive thing is that he will be at neutral defense next turn, or the Pokemon that he's bringing in. Yeah, Houndoom, kind of expected it, but whatever. And Houndoom isn't the most bulkiest Pokemon anyways. So the question is, should I tickle the Houndoom and protect? Or should I... No, you know what, I'm tickling and protecting right here. If it takes out Gothitelle, that's a, that's that's fine with me. I can bring in my Marowak next turn. And go from there, you know. He's probably going to Heat Wave or something, or Protect even.
Yes, he he's probably going to heat wave right here. At plus two, it's it's going to do huge damage though, isn't it? Or flamethrower, even better. Tickle again and play rough. Player of the Handle. <sighs> man. <laughs> this game, man. This is such an interesting game. <laughs> Please, Player of, do not miss. This is the turn you are not allowed to miss, Player of. Yes, thank you. Whew. Crisis averted. And this time I mean it. Now his Kangskhan is at plus two, uh, plus one, but I don't see himself really winning this game with a Kangskhan with a regular Kangskhan, you know. Also, Mammoth's one is such a such a big threat. I'm just going to double target it. Side shock and Iron Head. Now I'm not because Iron Head will take it out for sure, and it, just in case he has to focus Sash, I'm going to Sash Rock it as well. Let's see, you Kang's gonna kind of plus two, like. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. And he uses return on or he's losing return at plus one against my Gothic Toe. As the twisted damage is returned to normal. Now his EV does not have any attacking moves moves right. So Or he has no switch result I think. But he can't really use it. So gonna trick room again and iron head the Kang's card. He's going to power a punch, okay. I'm fine with that. What else is he going to do with this? He has Shadow Ball for some reason. But that doesn't bother me none. Ooh, he has the Super Berry. Or just Citrus Berry. Okay. Trying to find an end quickly, or actually, no, I'm just going to tickle the Kangaskhan and Iron Head it out. Because I really don't want to screw around with this Kangaskhan, it could pose a threat, you know. And also, Eevee doesn't. Eevee, no, Eevee doesn't. Eevee is no threat anymore. GG, EV team, user, trainer, and thanks so much for watching this first session, which was a really rough session, like those two losses, man, I could have played better, I just played those two sessions, session battles really poorly, I don't know what that was, anyways, let's move on, we are learning here on this, on this channel, so, anyways, I hope you had fun. I know I had my fair share of fun. I hope I see you next time. Have a nice day. Goodbye. Gotti out.